It's just a scratch. Nothing that won't heal in a week or two. <laughs> and your head? Oh, only a little scrambled. Don't blame yourself. That's one powerful little sphere. What were you thinking going after the artifact? How could you be so stupid? Who cares about your arm when you could have died? At least my intentions were good. You have no idea what almost happened. I almost killed you. Oh, don't worry. I'm as sturdy as a military ship. Listen to me. I'm immortal. Get it? You are not. You make mistakes and you die. Gone! And you leave everyone else to deal with it. Immortal? Truly immortal? Yes. Immortal. Surprise. You had the God's touch! Everyone I love, I have to leave behind. And I almost had to leave you. Forever. Alexios, it is the mortal way. We all go when the gods say so. And I eagerly await an afterlife of calm seas and bottomless crab cakes. It's not funny. Maybe not. But, did we ever have fun today? That's what matters, eh? We don't know how long we have the present, but it's a gift as good as gold. Gold. You did take me on a treasure hunt, after all. And all I got was a busted arm. <laughs> Let's get you patched up. Keeper, see for yourself. You are a protector of men, an intermediary of our world and theirs. Your journey will take you to lands of kings, queens, and conquerors, over water and through fire, into revolution and rebellion. But your presence will mean peace, Keeper. Take up this task, for them, and for yourself. Well, you can't say I wasn't successful in getting Alexios out of his funk. Out of my funk, but into a lot more trouble. Oops! <laughs> Did I already apologize for that? <laughs> Coming to Corfu. I had no inkling that we would get caught up in a tale of legendary treasure. They say life gets dull without surprises. Now that's a reason to cheers! And to you, Icarus. Yes. We all have but one life to lead. We have to do the most with it. One life? Speak for yourself. You're right, Barnabas. Heroes like Alexios will live on in the stories and legends of their triumphs. They live forever. Listen. I want you two to know. I'll be leaving soon. To travel across waters I've never dreamed of crossing. And I don't know when I'll be back. You're leaving? Again? Where? Why? I'll go wherever I'm needed in the world. So I can't run from my responsibilities. Someone, I mean, something, tells me my journey is not over yet. We couldn't possibly keep you for ourselves. Though you'll be everywhere in my writings, that's for certain. I'm honored. Maybe you could give me one of your manuscripts, Sirotados. I'm sure even those from far-off lands would love to read it. <laughs> Don't trouble yourself. These lands will do for now. But if you're serious, 
A storyteller is always prepared. Take it, but feel no need to share it. It's for you. I have something for you too. No. A spear. You knew what it was the moment you met me. But I've outgrown it. It's yours now. Careful. It's still sharp. I'll cherish it forever. Well, though I'm not one to refuse a gift, the gift of friendship is enough for me. You only want friendship? Huh. I guess I'll need to find another second in command for my trip. Me? Traveling the world? With you? If you'll have me as your captain. I don't know how much longer these old bones can hoist a sail. But I'll go as far as I can. The Adrestia is yours. What will be your first stop, Alexios? I don't know. What I do know is that I need a new weapon. Egypt has always fascinated me. Ah, one of my favorite places. Let me tell you one of my best stories. Everyone will read your words, Herodotus. Awesome. 